What's up, J Riders? It's your girl Justine, and I'm back with another video. Hey, what's up, guys? Today is Saturday, and it is Veterans Day, and I just want to say Happy Veterans Day to all the people that have served. Um, I appreciate each and every last one of you guys. Uh, today we have a, a very eventful day today. First of all, I'm headed to Starbucks because I want to give me a um, a green tea. And then I just dropped Kai off. So I had got me like a six-piece chicken nuggets. He, I got him some chicken nuggets. I got me a six-piece because it was free. I had a coupon to redeem some points. So I got my little six-piece for free. But anyway, guys, um, we are supposedly going on a date tonight. And the reason why I said supposedly because I haven't heard from the person today. <laughs> but we had planned on doing something today. And it's already late in the afternoon. So, and I want to record this because, again, ladies, <laughs> we got to know our worth, okay? And, um, anywho, we had planned on going on a date today. The person that I'm going to on a date with is a veteran and they invite me to some event some little nice event or fun event that's going on tonight for veterans and he asked me will I join them so I was like okay I I will join you um <laughs> we'll see how to that that goes Um, I had to pull up to one of my little, one of my little OG spots that I used to go to all the time, but I never come to that much anymore. Wow, today is Saturday. Everything is like so packed, and on top of that, the veterans is getting so many good deals today. Alright, so it's a it's a lot later. Like I said, it's like, oh, it's 1.30. Damn, 1.30 and I'm supposed to go get my nails done. Look at me. I can't go on no day like that. So, I'm getting ready to go to the nail shop, but I feel, I'm getting me a drink. And then, um, I'm getting my nails and feet done. And I'm going to go to this one shop because this one shop, they do your they can do your feet and do your nails at the same time. Hopefully, they'll do that for me. We'll see. Um, but oh, and then I have to stop at Macy's because I feel like I have something to wear, but I don't know. I feel like I want to wear something different, so I wanted to pull up to Macy's just to kind of see what Macy has to offer. I was thinking about doing a dress, and then I was like, I don't know if I want to do a dress, and then because I don't really like when my legs rub together. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking about like maybe doing jeans and like a white button up. And then I don't know if I think I should be getting something to be patriotic for Veterans Day. Even though I am not a veteran, but I still wanted to like represent the veterans. Am I supposed to do that? I don't even know if I'm supposed to do that. Because I never went on a Veterans Day. This is crazy. By the time y'all see this video, the date been to be over with. And I can't even get any of y'all recommendations. But it's okay. But if you would tell me how you would do it. If y'all want to leave a comment how you would do it. Then y'all just let me know. But Alright, what can I get for you today? Can I get a venti green tea and a sugar plum cheese danish? Let me make sure I got the danish. Okay. I swear these days, these days, these lips be looking so humongous. It's scary. <laughs> it's like that. Right, I, I got that for you. Anything else? No, that'll be it. I'll see you up here. Okay. Oh, wait, the drink was a venti green iced tea. Yeah, green iced tea, yeah. You got it. I'll see you up here. All right. Um, I 
yeah it's looking so scary about these lips but it's okay I'm, I let me enjoy them because they will go down eventually everything goes down eventually so just gotta enjoy it the process um anyway guys if y'all want to see what happened and i'm sure y'all do hmm y'all just gonna have to keep on watching and if you enjoyed this kind of content i asked y'all on live do y'all want me to, to start like journaling and vlogging these like dates that we're going on because we're going to be going on a lot of dates do y'all want me to vlog it for y'all and y'all say yes vlog so technically i'm just doing something y'all already want me to do y'all i was thinking like I had this like a little anxiety attack because I was thinking like I don't know if I should be going on a date yet because something had came over me was that was very like traumatic and I was thinking about like red flags because you know I'm getting ready to go on a date so I was thinking about the red flags and every when I started thinking about it I was thinking about the red flag like what about this person drive too fast? <laughs> and in my mind, I don't know what made me think about that. And in my mind, I was like, I'm not even finna be in this car. So why would I even think about that? But when I thought about it, like my breathing start, I started like panicking. And I haven't got over the fact when somebody, I told somebody that you need to slow down. Please don't drive like that. He never respected that for me. And I was thinking like, I'm not even healed from my past situations. Like, what am I doing? To do? I don't even be going to do this. Cause that was really traumatizing to me. And it just made me go into panic mode. Woo. I need some air guys. Cause just talking about it just make me um, nervous. But anyways, I don't want to dwell on that because I don't want to go on a date thinking about negative things like that so i'm trying to just like change up how i'm thinking right now but man i was just panicking i was thinking like i don't know what made me think like that Whew, i'm not healed y'all i'm not healed still going through some things but that's not gonna stop us from going out on this date and have trying to have some fun because technically you want to occupy your time even though you don't you're not trying to rush into something and you definitely we're definitely not rushing into anything okay i didn't say i want no man i didn't say that um i didn't say i want a relationship i didn't say i want to be married again i didn't say none of that at this point i'm just meeting people and that's it you know if something happens and things something just blow my mind then it may lead me to think something different. But right now, I'm not looking for any of that. You know what I'm saying? Anyhow, let me get out my little app so we can get our green tea and our little sugar plum Danish. Hey guys, have y'all tried the sugar plum Danish? Danish? If so, let me know how you like it. And if you haven't, tried it what are you waiting on go ahead and give it a try it is really good we just arrived here at the nail shop and i wanted to show y'all my little tree danish this is how it looks like a little sugar plum let's take a bite mm. Mmm. Woo. It's good, guys. It's good. So, I went and got my nails done. Red. <laughs> And um, this is my little outfit, my little throwing outfit for today. So we we'll just do this on. Um, but um, now I'm getting right. See, I gotta get rid of this fat. Like this fat right here. This this came along gate weight gain. I don't like that. See, good. 
then this side is not as bad. But yeah, I gotta work on losing some weight, guys. But this is my outfit of the day. I got some jeans, cause I'm thinking about wearing some jeans tonight and a nice little button up. But I wasn't for sure if I like the button up with the pearls or without. Kinda like without. But let me try this on real quick and see how it looks. I don't like that the pants don't. I don't like that the pants don't come all the way. Now we don't have those. <laughs> but you have the one that you want. Yeah. Y'all, I'm back home. Y'all, I couldn't find anything to wear, like. And I was, I ended up buying some jeans. But then I was thinking, I don't know, I might end up taking them jeans back because. Or I might keep them. But. At first, I thought it wasn't going to even be a date because I didn't hear from him. And then I just heard from him. And then we was talking about where we was going to meet at wherever this veterans thing or whatever is going to be at. Come to find out, he said it's at somebody's house and he really don't feel comfortable going to somebody's house. He don't know. And I was like, okay. And I got something on my shirt. I think it's just water. But, um, he didn't feel comfortable about going to somebody's house that he didn't know. So, I'm like, okay. And then he was like, we could just meet. Um, he was saying that we could meet, um, somewhere else. He wanted to meet at the yard house. And then he's going to see if he can get us in for hot and juicy. And if you don't know, hot and juicy is like a seafood boil place. So, baby, I can always get down some hot and, messy, hot and juicy. So, anyways, I had um, got on this shirt. I never wore this shirt. I got it from Dee Dee's. I paid $5.99. So, I'm just not wearing the shirt. And then these some black um, stretchy pants that I already had. And then I don't really feel comfortable wearing this. But I'm going to go ahead and wear it. really don't feel comfortable because I feel like I'm just too fat for it. But I, I you know what? I ain't going to be tripping. I'm not going to be tripping. It is what it is. I'm not even going to put any more thought into it. Alright, so anyways, I have time to do my little makeup real quick. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. Put on my little makeup. I need to put some little moisturizer on my face. Or I can put this Yeah, so that is where we at now. Um <laughs> This is just, I'm really just not in the mood. I'm really not. Well I'm just gonna do this anyways, cause just to help you ladies, the ones that's looking to get back on the scene and stuff like that. Um, you can give suggestions if you want to, if you tell a person, you know, what you're eating, because maybe you're vegan, maybe you don't eat meat, or maybe, I don't know. me and said he's on the way to our where we're meeting at and he said he's stuck in traffic must be some type of accident or something ain't that crazy but we can't hold that against him because remember that's out of his control <sighs> accidents can happen so ladies if you're dating and this happens to you again it's not the guy's fault so you can't really 
hold that against them, you know. Um, as long as he's communicate, which he did, I'm cool. Because communication is key. Yeah, I'm not really in a mood of doing this, but oh well. I spent so long inside of Macy's trying to look for something and end up not even needing that. Oh, that just pissed me off. Where's my concealer? That just pissed me off because I didn't even need to do all that. See how things just happen, y'all? See how things just... But that gives me, that's just buying me some time because baby, <laughs> I'm still getting ready. So anyways, um, what else I was going to tell you? I, I, I hate, I don't feel comfortable. I don't really think I'm cute. I want to feel cute, but I don't feel like I'm cute. Y'all, another thing, y'all know I'm on this little 30 day, um, no drinking and no coffee. And this is a goal I'm just trying to do for myself. Nobody's making me do it or, you know, or I'm trying to prove something to anybody. It's something I want to do to my, for myself. And I was thinking while I'm finna get ready to go on a date, of course, he's going to want to have drinks. And I just, I feel like I shouldn't be breaking... <sighs> This is really going to be weird, but I shouldn't be breaking my goal for nobody because this is for me. I'm doing this for myself and um, I just going to just tell him like, you know, I'm not drinking. I'm on a uh, like a no. I'm just cleansing my body or whatever for 30 days and I want to see how he react. Like I want to know if he's going to respect that or if he's going to be like trying to convince me come on just have a drink and you know huh reflex <laughs> so i think i'm just gonna put him to the test just to see because baby this is for me and you if you don't love yourself who how you gonna love anybody else you know how you gonna take care of anybody else when you can't even take care of your damn self so definitely gonna put me first definitely putting me first but at the same time, I just want to know how he will react. Like, I just want to know how he going to handle that. I bought these off from Amazon. I can't wait to test it out. This is my first time testing it out, but because normally I just oh look at that. Do you blow it off? What well, normally I just put um use a brush. Oh my god, look how they do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. But anyways, um She in the mood. She in the mood. She in, she, she, she in the mood. Yeah, so anyways. Um, 
sometimes you just have to test people to see, you know. This is a test. You know, I don't really know if he's really my cup of tea or anything like that, but we're just going to be doing this just for fun. Just for fun. Remember, we're dating for fun. We're not out trying to meet anybody like that. Mm -mm. She in the mood. the date um we had went to hot and juicy and the food was really good i think because i didn't order a drink he didn't order a drink so all i had was on a palmer and then he had water so i didn't get to see was he gonna pressure me into having a drink i think he was just going by my vibes or whatever but this is how my hair turned out see what i'm saying how you come back and look all poofy what y'all think about that? This is why I'm gonna be wanting to wear my hair down. Like, y'all told me to wear it down, but it looks poofy. Um, let's say, I'm trying to think what, what happened that seemed like red flags to me. Um, I didn't like, let me, let me just think here for a second because, oh, I wish I had my camera. Um. I don't know. I just feel like the like initially on the date nothing happened. Everything went good. Everything was fine and we waited, ordered our food, and then we just made a little small talk and stuff like that. So and the food was great and I had on my bib so food wouldn't get all on my shirt. And I had um the gloves on so my hands don't get nasty and dirty or whatever. And I ate all my food. It was so good. And he ate all his food, and then we just made small talk. And then after that, he walked me to my car, and boom, I'm home. Um, I had made a suggestion that maybe next time, if we go on another date, then maybe we can go like bowling or maybe shoot some pool or something like that. So he was like, that sounds like a good idea. But otherwise, I guess the date went all right. Uh, but at the end of the night, I was like, yeah, I'm full as a tick. He said, that's what I be saying. He said, do you need me to come rub your stomach? I ain't like that. Like, that's the only thing I didn't like is he told me, something, you want me to come rub your stomach? But no, sir, I don't need you to rub my stomach. But otherwise, I, thought, I think my little outfit came out cute. Um, again, this was like last little minute type thing oh and then like i don't know if he was playing or not but he was he was like is that he said something about my hair and i was like i know sometimes i'd be wanting to wear wigs and weave because my hair don't be acting right and then he was like that's all your hair and i looked at him and i was, and i was thinking to myself girl don't look at him crazy because some people just don't know and i said oh yeah this is all my hair and then he was like I'm just playing with you. I knew that was your hair, but I don't really know if he was playing or not. <laughs> but anyways, that was it. 
nothing extravagant if we was going somewhere like a really nice restaurant or whatever the case may be i would have dressed up different at first i went out shopping because initially i thought we was going to some type of veterans party but we end up changing them our mind at the last minute because like i told you he noticed it was at somebody home he didn't want to go there if he don't really know the people and he didn't want things to feel awkward and i was thinking to myself okay that's perfect because i don't want them looking at us like we crazy and uh it would have been just a weird first date to be going through that so then we end up doing the hot and juicy thing he he came up with that idea i did not come up with that he asked me, do I like hot and juicy? I said, yes. So he's like, cool, let's let's do hot and juicy. Cool, let's do hot and juicy. And that's all we did. Um, no drinks, no alcohol beverage. I had my little tea. He had his little water. That was it. And I made it back home safe and sound. Period. So now what I'm going to do is get ready to take this stuff off. Um, take my makeup off and get ready for bed. I was about to go live, but then I was like, mm, it's too late to be going live. Because if it's 10.30 here, that means it's 11.30 somewhere else, 12.30. These people are asleep. <laughs> Just like I'm about to be asleep. Knock the hell out. But yeah, y'all know y'all worth. Know what you like. Know what you want. Have like the things that qualities that you like in the men. Write that stuff down, Okay. I'm here to help y'all. I'm not looking for no relationship. I'm not looking for no relationship. I'm not looking for a husband. I'm not looking for none of that, okay? But I am looking for, eventually, somebody to make life a little bit easier for me, and that's okay. We can want that. We can want that. I just want somebody to make my life a little bit easier. That's all. It ain't nothing wrong with wanting that. Make my life a little easier. No strings attached. No craziness. No, no, no. Eventually, it probably will lead to that. I'm sure somebody's helping you and stuff. Eventually, they're going to want a relationship. But until, until the end, I am not rushing into anything. I don't want nobody helping me out. I don't really want nothing right now. But listen, if you guys could want more of these videos, I don't mind making these videos for y'all. If it end up being a second day, I'll let you guys know and bring you like right along with me. Um, but yeah, that was it guys. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. And if you did, don't forget to like the video. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Also, don't forget to hit that bell button so you can be notified of every video I upload. And if you just subscribe, welcome to the J Ryder family. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.